How you doing? Thank you for tuning in to this here video presentation by Mr. Larry Whittington, or as he want to be known, Mr. Witt. Mr. Whittington knows all about mathematics, and that is why he founded the Fort Bend Tutorings. Today we're going to learn about word problems. Not the kind where you curse people out, but the mathematical kinds. The kind I don't be understanding at all. All right, get your ink pen and your pencil ready. Take notes, because you're fixing to learn from Mr. Witt. This is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring, and today's tutorial is going to be consecutive odd integer word problems. This is our fourth word problem tutorial for you guys, and here we have problem number one. Two consecutive odd integers have a sum of 128. What are the integers? Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing you want to note is that anytime you're dealing with consecutive odd or even integers, the numbers are always two places away from one another. So for instance, if I'm looking at even numbers, 12, 14, 16, 18, those numbers are separated by two. The same thing applies to odd numbers where you may have three, five, seven, nine. These numbers are also separated by two. So we'll start by defining our numbers. That's the first thing. So here we have two consecutive odd integers, so I have two numbers to define. Since I don't have any information about this first number, I'll just label the first number x. Just the variable x, my unknown. But I do know that the second number, being as though it's an odd integer, it has to be two places away from the first number. All right. So consecutive numbers fall right behind each other, so consecutive odd numbers also must fall right behind one another. So if I'm starting out with my first odd number, that second odd number is definitely going to be two places away from it. So here I have my definitions. The first number is x, second number is x plus 2. Since they say that the sum of these two consecutive odd integers is going to be 128, we're going to write an equation that reflects that. So my equation will be x, that first odd integer, plus the second one, which is x plus 2, that's going to equal to 128. And here's my equation, just like that. That's right. So next, I'm going to combine like terms. So here I have 1x plus 1x, that gives me 2x. I bring down that positive 2, which equals to 128. From there, I'm going to solve this two-step equation by subtracting 2 to both sides of the equal sign. So I have minus 2 here, minus 2 here. My 2's will cancel out. I bring down 2x, isolating the term with a variable, which equals to 126. And now I'll be dividing both sides by 2. Mm -hmm. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, you got it. So now I have x equals to 63, and that's going to be my first odd integer. So let's go back to my definitions here. And notice that here I said that x would be my first odd integer, which is 63. And the second odd integer is going to be two more than that. So that's going to be 63 plus 2, and that gives me a value of 65. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and just box up my answers in red boxes because that's how I roll. Red boxes. Done, ladies and gentlemen. That's problem number one. All right. Keeping it moving. Problem number two. Here in our second word problem for consecutive odd integers, it says four consecutive odd integers have a sum of 56. What are the integers? So in this problem, we have four consecutive odd integers. So going to the definitions, we'll set up four different odd numbers. So let's check that out. So my first is my unknown. I don't know what that is, so that's x. The second odd integer is going to be two more than that, so that's x plus 2. The third odd integer is going to be four places from the original, so I have x plus 4. Then the fourth odd integer is going to be x plus 6. So that's going to be my definitions for the four consecutive odd integers. This ensures that each of these numbers will be two places away from each other, and they will be consecutive. All right, so since we have our word problem stating that the sum of these odd integers will be 56, we'll go ahead and write our equation up. It's going to be the following. We'll have x, which is the first number, plus x plus 2, the second odd integer, plus x plus 4, that third odd integer, plus x plus 6, the fourth one, is going to have to equal to a sum of 56. From here, we'll be combining like terms, so I end up adding all my x's together. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's, so that gives me 4x, plus adding together 2 plus 4 plus 6, I end up with 12, and then this still equals to 56. 
I'll be subtracting 12 to both sides. All right. And then next, I'll be bringing down 4x, which equals to 44. Then I'm going to be dividing both sides by 4. My 4s cancel out to find out that my first odd integer must be 11. 44 divided by 4. All right. So let's go back up to the definitions now. So back up to the definitions, we know that my first value is going to be 11. The second one is going to be two places from that. So adding 2 to 11, we get 13. Adding 2 to 13, you end up with 15. Or you can say adding 4 to the original. And then adding 6 to my original, we end up with 17. So this gives us our four consecutive odd integers, 11, 13, 15, and 17, which will definitely add up to 56. And those are your answers, ladies and gentlemen. Done. Just like that. All right. So how's it going? What do you think? Not bad, right? All you got to do is set things up correctly, solve your linear equations, and you're done. Just like that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Problem number three. Here we go. If the smaller of two consecutive odd integers is subtracted from twice the larger, the result is 13. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we're dealing with two consecutive odd integers, all right? So first of all, define them. We'll say that the first odd integer is my unknown variable x. I'll then go on to say that my second or larger odd integer is going to be x plus 2. Remember, they're always separated by 2 when you're dealing with even or odd integers. So now that we've defined them, we're going to check out our word problem here to see how to write the equation. It says, if the smaller of the two consecutive odd integers is subtracted from twice the larger. Anytime we have the phrase subtracted from or less than, the second part goes first. So twice the larger is going to be 2 times x plus 2 minus x. That's subtracting the smaller from twice the larger here. The result is 13. So that means that I'm going to set this equal to 13 now. From here, I'm going to distribute first. So I get to do my favorite property, the distributive property, because I have my arrows popping, ladies and gentlemen. From there, I'm going to distribute. I end up with 2x plus 4 minus x equals to 13. From there, we're going to be combining my like terms here. So 2x minus x is going to give me x. I'll bring down that plus 4, which equals to 13. Then I'll be subtracting 4 to both sides. So the next thing I have is going to be x equals to 9, just like that. That's going to be my first integer, the first odd number. So let's go back up, ladies and gentlemen, to the definitions. And we have my x value equaling to 9. And then adding 2 to 9, we find out that the largest of the two consecutive odd integers is going to be 11. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's test this out to see if it works. It says that if the smaller of two consecutive odd integers is subtracted from twice the larger, the result is 13. That means that if we multiply 11 times 2, which is 22, and we subtract 9 from that, we'll end up with 13. Yep, that's right, because 22 minus 9 is 13, ladies and gentlemen. So these are your solutions, 9 and 11, those two consecutive odd integers right there. All right, good stuff. All right, number four is going to be our last word problem for today's lesson, ladies and gentlemen. So here we have, if the lesser of two consecutive odd integers is doubled, the result is seven more than the greater of the two integers. Find the two integers. For starters, we just need to recognize that we're simply dealing with just two odd integers. So let's define those. The first is going to be my unknown variable x. The second odd integer is going to be x plus 2. Then, in order to write our equation for this word problem, it says if the lesser of two consecutive odd integers is doubled, the result is seven more than the greater of the two integers. So in writing my equation, I'll be doubling the smaller integer, which is x. So 2x, it has to equal to seven more, which means I need to add here, the greater of the two integers. So the greater of these two consecutive odd integers is my x plus 2 number here. So there's my equation.
I have doubled the smaller and I have seven more than the greater of the two integers. So from here I'm going to combine my like terms and solve for the variable x. So on the right side of the equal sign notice that I can combine seven plus two to give me nine. So this will be nine plus x. Then I'll be solving for x by subtracting x to both sides of the equal sign. I want my variables on one side of the equal sign here. My x's cancel out and then 2x minus 1x is just x and that equals to 9. So 9 is my answer, ladies and gentlemen, as far as the smaller of the two consecutive odd integers. So going back to my definitions, I know that x equals to 9 and two more than that, ladies and gentlemen, is 11. So once again, 9 and 11 is the solution to the problem. So make sure you define it and of course make sure that your equation is set up to a T and you'll have much success with consecutive odd integer word problems, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today because I did. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're able, please donate. Peace. We're going to be learning about such things as linear, quadratics, system of equations, tables, mixtures, work, oh lord, distance, interest, of which I don't have much, investment. This is my favorite one. I'm going to name my grandbaby consecutive integers, <laughs> algebraic translations, and percents. I understand a little bit about my sense. I know that 50% off is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>